Hey and welcome back students, uh, good morning, okay, it is 4 a.m. Alright, because of this, the coronavirus situation, I am able to give 100% of time to elite educators. And what I want to do today is I will put this on a Facebook page, so this will be for students as well as everybody else. This would be a short recap of fractions. Now, this here, what we have, oh, just by the way, if I seem a little bit blurry, that's because I have the direct focus on the board so you guys could see everything like super clear and you guys could hear me well all right first of all i want to know how you guys do it in just remember guys think positive you guys are the first set of students ever that got the SCA exam postponed. When I was in university, um or even after university postgraduate, I would have done anything to get an exam postponed. You guys have that. And remember what I said in the webinar we had this weekend, which turned out to be three hours as opposed to one and a half. Um, you guys have to use this time. Use this time wisely. There'll be two types of students that come out from this situation. One, students who are average and they, every single day, they sat down, they revised the notes, they studied, they gave that extra hour in every single day despite not having school. And they're going to come out really, really, really good. And then conversely, some students who might get tied up in things like TV, Netflix, um, YouTube, um, games, PUBG, Fortnite, Call of Duty. I just deleted PUBG from my tablet. It was taking up way too much time. So now I'm able to focus way more on you guys and put in a ton of videos on the YouTube channel for us students. But what we're going to do today, and guys, just remember, I try to make these videos for students. So if they seem a little bit too simple or taking really long is we want SEA students to understand, right? So um, I hope you like, I hope you guys like the content we're trying to put out on the page. Everything on the page itself is free. Um, so what we have here is actually a question. This was from section two. And remember, I, tell you, I told you guys in the mathematics part of the SEA paper, section one is easy. Whatever they ask for is usually the case. So if they ask two plus two, four, no tricks at all. What we will see here is this question is a little bit different and it uses a lot of concepts from the topic of fractions. Now, when we do fractions, the first thing we do is one equivalent fractions. So for instance, like, okay, um, I couldn't get through to Pizza Hut today because Pizza Hut line was down. KFC line was down. All right, so and what happened was that um, I ended up ordering Mario's. Mario's was kind of awesome. And say, for instance, we have a pizza and your little brother come into the room, brother or sister come and he just like take half of the pizza. Half could be represented as one over two. So basically, OK, let's let's just draw it. Right. We have a pizza here from Mario's and the pizza the, the pizza person they were like super lazy they were like hey you're just gonna cut this in half so what do you do they cut it in half like this so you have one line going down and we have two equal parts that's super important in fractions and your little brother or sister grab this whole part and run to the room this is one out of two equal parts which is a half now furthermore if the pizza person was a was drink some monster energy drink or something and they decided to cut it into four equal parts we can see if your brother just actually like took this portion it would have been one two two out of four these fractions are equal these are called equivalent fractions and fractions could be equivalent in a wide variety of ways we could have one over two two over four three over six and we go into much 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 more detail in the classes itself but uh, that is one of the precursors we need to actually deal with this question up here the second thing we need to know is we need to assess the question this question is not just fractions we also have mixed numbers so essentially what we have here is this here is a whole number yeah this marker is dead yeet this is a whole number, and this here is a fraction. So with whole numbers, whole numbers, those are really easy to work with. If we have 4 minus 2 
answers too. So we just take them away from the other. So in this case, we have, uh, we could work this out in two ways. Let me just make sure this is recording because I think in ultra high def, we only have like probably about 10 minutes before it cuts off. So the first thing we could divide this into two parts, right? The first part, let me write it in the black marker. The first part, part one, will be seven minus four because we work in with the whole numbers. So we have seven minus four. And that one is super easy. We have seven apples, somebody come and sprang four. We have three equals three. So what we have there is actually half of the answer. The second part of the question and that's the tricky part. So you guys, just bear in mind, this is for two marks, right? And also, they actually made it easy because they didn't put any units on it. They didn't put dollars, they didn't put apples, they didn't put pizzas. So they actually give us a blight. We just have to respond with a numerical value, just a number. That's it. Super easy, right? All right, so let us erase this. And let us start to work on part two of the question. Part two of the question would be 3 over 5 minus 7 over 15, right? So what we're dealing here is with fractions. These are not whole numbers. Now, it could have been super easy if... Uh, now, remember, when we deal with fractions, we have two things. We have the, the numerator, and then underneath, we have the denominator. The denominator is the total amount of the whole number. So if we have the denominator as 20, it is one thing divided into 20 equal parts. So if we have a pizza, we have real friends, uh, we don't have no cash because we business closed down because of Corona, we're going to cut that pizza into 20 equal slices. And they're going to be happy and they're going to help with tally house. Let me make sure it's recording again. Okay. Yes, you are still recording, thank God. Um, the last couple of recordings, um, they cut off and I had to do them over and over and over again um, for students, um, for our students on YouTube. That was a comprehension we actually did. We went through it together. We were talking about Papa Boa and Duen and all sorts of history stuff, which was epic. So essentially, we have 3 over 5 minus 7 over 15. Now, if the denominators, which is the base number, if that was the same, we own like boil corn, right? If this was like 9 over 15 and this was 7 over 15, anything with the same denominator, we just minus, subtract, we just work as normal. We just do it with the, we just use the numerator, the top number. And if it was 9 over 15 minus 7 over 15, 9 minus 7, 2 over 15, easy peasy, we're done. Full marks. Bad man do keto. So essentially, we have 3 fifths minus 7 over 15. Now, what do we have to do? We have to essentially take 3 over 5 which is a smaller one, and create an equivalent fraction. We have to find a number that is divisible by 15 and divisible by 5. And when we have that number, we put both of the fractions, we convert both of the fractions to a fraction with that as a denominator. So the first thing we do is we start getting the LCM, the lowest common multiple. Now, in previous videos, I explained in super detail how to do this. You guys should know that by now, so do study it. So we put 5 and we put 15. 5, 15. We draw this little division thingy. Um, and what we do, we test numbers. And we use the smallest numbers that could be divided by these numbers without leaving a remainder. That is super important. The first number is 1. If we do 1, we'll be in an infinite loop because 5 could divide by 1 and you'll just get the same thing. We could try 2. Cow worker. 5 divided by 2 will leave a remainder. 15 divided by 2 will leave a remainder. So 2 is out. 3. Let's try 3. So 3. <coughs> 5 cannot be divided by 3, it will leave a remainder of 2. 15 can. So because 5 cannot, so we just bring down the 5, 
and 15 divided by 3 will give you 5. It's like a B mobile black, five dollars. So here, with the two numbers that we have is five and five. Um, the only number that could be divided by both of them is five with other choice. So we put five, five divided by five is one, five divided by five is one. And once we see this, once we see one and one, one and done. Once you see one, that's it. We good to go. So in order to get the lowest common multiple, we just multiply these two numbers. Three multiplied by five equals 15. So here, <clears throat> what we will do is, hopefully <laughs> this is recording and I don't lose the footage again. So I will stop here and then we'll continue to just finish the question part two of the video. Because even for uploading, flow is so slow. <laughs> so essentially, I want to make sure that um, we have part one here. So we have the LCMS 15 and I'll show you guys what to do in the next video. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're actually continuing the same exact question. Now, guys, think about it as we slow down time. So uh, we are Thanos, we have an infinity gauntlet, uh, we use the time, st the time stone itself to slow down time. Remember, remember, a question like this is for two marks and we actually want to do this in probably like less than a minute and a half. But you guys need to know the mechanics and you guys need to know how to do it slow so that uh, through practice uh, you guys will be able to do it super, super fast. That's how we train the kids. We want all, all our students first to understand the mechanics. That's why we hit heavy on things. Theory, and then afterwards we do a lot a lot a lot of practice I'm um, using actual live past papers um, and everything that we teach is direct from the 2019 to 2023 essay framework um, plus we use actual past papers so they get a feel of the instructions how what type of questions will come so we don't just want them to pass for the first choice we want them to pass for like top 100 yo that is where the true distinction lies so um, any question, super quick recap, we have, this is the question itself, uh, section two, um, first question in a section two paper, we have seven and three over five, minus four and seven over 15, we said we split in it into two parts, uh, one with the whole number, seven minus four, three, that part is done, fraction part, that's where they test in the framework itself, so they're actually testing us LCM, they want to make sure we know LCM, we need to know equivalent fractions, we need to know basic addition, subtraction, all those mechanics of the mathematics itself uh, as well as putting them all together as a mixed number and giving us an answer so they pull in from about six or seven parts of the essay syllabus but uh, once you bring it together it will be like a really epic cheesecake or like an eight piece with fries from kfc with uh, extra biscuits <laughs> guys we have no kfc until april 30th yet what will we do it is the okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, I sure you're gonna have pictures on Facebook with people trying to make KFC. Somebody should stumble upon the recipe and show us. Okay, good. Mike is on noise. All right, so we have the LCM, and the LCM is basically a number that 15 could be divided by, and five can be divided by as a common multiple we did this a lot in past videos so not gonna go and trigger its prime factorization and why that method is super long and inconvenient and why you all should use this method uh go back a couple of posts you'll find that video there no scene so so we'll bring this across here so we have three over five minus seven over 15 and we have the lcm here right so the lcm as being 15 so we put the lcm here the lcm if you guys look carefully is going to be the new denominator right so you guys will see this we're gonna make we're gonna basically make both of these fractions equivalent and 15 will be the brand new denominator so 15 divided by 5 so we can say 15 divided by 5 5 into 5 1 so it'll be 3 so this could go into the new denominator the lcm three times so to make it equivalent we multiply the top number by 3 so 3 by 3 3 by 3 is 9 bring it down here right minus 7 over 15 15 over 15 15 over 15 equals 1 
So 1 by 7 is 7 minus. So what we see here is what I talked about earlier. If they give us a question with fractions and the denominators with the seam, that would be super easy. We wouldn't have to do anything, just we would manipulate the top numbers alone. We'll just minus the top numbers. So what we could see here is we essentially have two fractions. We have 9 over 15 minus 7 over 15 minus the top number 9 minus 7, 2 over 15. But what I want to actually show you guys is kind of this. This is something that it gets overlooked a lot. And kids just learn this by heart and they don't understand the true mechanics behind it. That's why we teach it for them to actually understand. So they could use this in everyday life. 3 over 5 was the initial fraction we had. And then we got 9 over 15. These fractions are completely equal. If we multiply 3 by 3, we'll get 9. If we multiply 5 by 3, we'll get 15. So all we're doing is making these fractions equivalent. Same denominator, different numerators, and that way we could just work out the answer. So we have 9 minus 7, 2 over 15. So all we have to do now is we just need to combine our answers. So the first thing we got, 7 minus 4 is 3, and then 9 over 15 minus 7 over 15 equals 2 over 15. And that is the answer. And the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys is because this uses a lot of principles with regards to the 2019 to 2023 syllabus. A lot of questions out there to just use one. If we do mean, median, and mode, mean would just be an average. So that will test one skill. This question, guys, this was basic subtraction. Then LCM, which we just erase. Then equivalent fractions. Then the subtraction of fractions. Then combination to form a mixed number. Guys, that's a lot in one question. So if we get questions like this, we need to know all of these topics and we need to know where they come from and how they're applying. So I hope this helped you guys in some way. Make sure like, share, all that. And if you guys are interested, um, our students right now, we have full support for them. We have um, online classes. Our classes regularly during the week are usually like an hour and a half. We have them for like about three hours now. Two, we're still giving away the prizes. So we pick randomly students who are on the video chat and the parents could always just pass. We lice all it down, put it in a bag, wear a mask and they just come by the school headquarters Saturdays and Sundays. They pick it up, their kids win prizes. We have a ton of cool prizes. We try to motivate the kids as much as possible and we try to like guide them through this somewhat uncertain time. So anyhow, you guys have an epic week. Hope this video helped you in any way. Um, so peace out.